Holiday travel chaos continued, we're sorry to say, for a sixth straight day. The toll so far, more than 6,000 flights canceled since Christmas Eve, with COVID-related staff shortages the main culprit. CBS's Errol Barnett is at Reagan National Airport, and he has the latest. With every major airport in the country experiencing cancellations and delays tonight, it's an unhappy end to a difficult travel year. It's COVID. I mean, nobody can control it. It's been very frustrating. The Omicron wave and bad weather led to nearly 1,000 cancellations today and more than 4,600 delays. On average, more than 1,000 flights have been canceled every day since Christmas Eve. My family had been waiting in airports for three days straight, and we just decided to cut our losses. Nick Napoli and his family from Brooklyn are stuck in Seattle. They were supposed to make it to Denver to see his parents, but that leg has been canceled. We were hoping to uh, get the family together for holidays in Denver, and unfortunately, that's not going to happen this year. And how do you and your wife feel about that? Oh, well, yeah, we're very disappointed. Airline crews and staff calling out sick with COVID have devastated flight schedules. The CDC's decision this week to cut isolation and quarantine times in half will allow the airlines to bring back staff more quickly. It's outrageous to me. But flight attendant union president Sarah Nelson says that could put even more people in danger. This guidance was put in place at the behest of corporate America. It was not put in place for um, public health initiatives. And frankly, that makes our jobs even harder. Now, the flight attendants union has reversed its position on a vaccine requirement for domestic travel. It now supports the idea given this dramatic surge in cases. President Biden said recently he would impose such a rule major if his health advisors recommended it. Errol Barnett, thank you so much.